Hello investors and welcome back to the channel. Now we have more news concerning the SEC lawsuit and Ripple and uh, Brad Gallinghouse who is the current CEO of Ripple Labs is actually addressing the US Securities Commission uh, the US Securities and Exchange Commission's lawsuit against Ripple and uh, in a lengthy tweet storm uh, Brad actually offers new details on the company's interactions with the SEC prior to the lawsuit. Now, in his own words in the tweet, he says, I am not going to lit litigate the SEC's unproven allegations on Twitter. And as you can imagine, there are new considerations to what can or should be said publicly after the litigation process starts. But however, I would like to address five key questions I have seen. Now, the first question, why, did not, why didn't Ripple settle with the SEC? Well, can't get into specifics, but no, we tried and will continue to try with the new administration to resolve this in a way so the XRP community can continue innovating, consumers are protected, and orderly markets are preserved. Now, that's the end of the quote, but of course, the CEO also says that XRP remains a highly liquid asset and to date, support for the cryptocurrency has been dropped by more than two dozen exchanges already. Now, in his own words, Brad says XRP is one of the most liquid uh, top three, top three to five digital assets globally, and 95% is traded outside the US. And uh, Ripple has no control over where XRP is listed or who owns it. It's open source and decentralized. Now, delisting and halting are two separate things. Most are halting trading with eight different government agencies, each with their own uh, views of crypto. US market participants are facing conflicting policies and no surprise, some act conservatively. So that is what Brad was talking about when he was speaking against the current um, uh race of uh, halting and suspension of uh, XRP trading in very large US based um, crypto platforms, crypto exchange platforms like Binance and Coinbase saying that uh, the rules are, are, are the main thing that are causing them to halt and not delist the currency but rather halt the trading in itself. Now Brad also says that we've moved from lack of regulatory clarity to regulatory chaos in the US and this is why regulation by enforcement is such a bad public policy with the new administration we expect the Digital Commodity Exchange Act the DCEA to be reintroduced common sense legislation providing clarity to the entire industry now as for why Ripple has not yet responded to the SEC's allegations Brad reminds his followers that the legal process is slow and says the firm plans to file its initial response within weeks. And of course, Gallinghouse also responds to concerns that investors may have lost faith in Ripple and that the firm paid its customers to use XRP. Now, in that question, which says, do investors have faith in Ripple? Brad Gallinghouse answered, and I'll quote, yes. We have real shareholders. That is how you own Ripple Equity. Buying our stock, not buying XRP. We are disappointed that Tetragon, who owns 1.5% of Ripple, is seeking to unfairly advantage itself through the SEC's allegations. And uh, we are going to sort it out. Now, that's what uh, Brad said. And when he was asked, did you pay customers to use XRP? Well, um, Brad Gallinghouse answered by saying, we have provided some customers, especially first movers, with incentives to use on-demand liquidity. This is building a payments network one-on-one -on -one and totally lawful, and every payments network, PayPal, Visa, MCN, etc., has all still uses incentives. We built a product that is the first of its kind. Integrating new infrastructure comes with costs, and on delivery liquid uh, ODL, which is on demand liquidity with XRP, solves real problems with cost, speed, and settlement, and that's proven to the tune of billions of dollars. 
So those were the, res uh, the those were the answers put out by Brad Gallinghouse, the CEO of Ripple, in Twitter, ans answering these five big questions. And of course, in closing the thread, uh, Brad Gallinghouse says that Ripple is on the right side of history and that they look forward to their day in court as well as engaging with the new SEC leadership once appointed. So yeah, there you have it. That is the story that I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching this video. Let me know what you think about this news in the comment sections below. And uh, until the next uh, update, thank you very much. And Hello guys, and uh, if you've reached this far, thank you, thank you very much for watching our videos. We really appreciate your love and support, and we don't take it for granted. Now for more news like this, please do consider subscribing to our channel by clicking the red button uh, just below this video. Also feel free to click the like button because by doing that, it tells it helps YouTube to share our video to more people like you who will be interested in watching our videos. Uh, so once again, I would like to thank you very much for showing support to our channel and, um, and, and I would like to promise you that your presence does not go unnoticed. Thank you very much and we are looking forward to having you to having you in the future through uh, more videos that will be coming your way. So thank you very much. Please stay safe, stay humble, do consider subscribing and clicking the like button and until the next update, uh, bye bye.